Washington, organizers of this weekend's Justice for J6 rally say the event is meant to support non-violent offenders, but the majority of defendants held in jail in connection with insurrection are charged with assaulting police or other violent crimes. Of the more than 600 alleged capital rioters arrested to date, 71 were in jail as of September 17. The narrative that defendants ordered to stay behind bars while their cases are pending are political prisoners has become a rallying cry among conservatives who backed former President Donald Trump's Stop the Steal movement. On Saturday, Trump supporters are expected to participate in a demonstration pitched as showing support for those charged with storming the Capitol and temporarily stopping Congress from certifying the results of the election. Matt Brainerd, a conservative activist whose Look Ahead America group is organizing the rally, has insisted the event is about supporting nonviolent offenders. But Brainerd, who briefly worked for Trump's 2016 campaign, has blurred that line simultaneously promoting the political prisoners concept and the notion that the latest rally is, in fact, about the incarcerated defendants. This summer, he submitted a human rights complaint on their behalf to the United Nations and organized rallies specifically to protest their detention. Earlier this week, Brainerd tweeted that it wasn't fair that incarcerated January 6 defendants couldn't go home when, in some cases, people charged with murder are granted release pending trial. He ended the tweet with the rally hashtag hashtag justice for J6 and a link to the event site. Brainerd did not return a request for comment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.